video, podcast, discussion. I think we should really find a name for this, uh, something that's really catchy. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do in this podcast is we're going to have a conversation about our featured program this week. And if you have already listened to this program, uh, you are probably already hungry for this conversation. So maybe you even want to, like I have, you know, cup of coffee or something to eat so that we can talk about it. Um, if you haven't listened to the program already, make sure that you visit the link that's at the top of your screen. Um, and this program is called Street Food Around the World. And uh, you can find that on YouTube. You can find uh, a script that you can follow along with on our website, www.spotlightenglish.com. And uh, we hope that you have looked through that and that you're ready for this conversation with me. I'm Liz Wade, and we have... Hello, I'm Adam Navis. Yes, that's right. So, Liz, once again, we are here together, excited to dive in to talk about a Spotlight program. Yes, and you know, um, Adam, this is part of my favorite categories of Spotlight program, okay. which is um, about food. Ah, so, yes, food plays a big part in your life. Yes, oh, okay. I guess, uh, I guess I won't be insulted no, by that. You said it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I love, first of all, I wrote this program. Um, and uh, it's not all based on my experiences, but some of these examples are based on my experiences. And uh, yeah, I do, like you said, I love food. I love eating food. Yes. I love trying new food. Um, yeah. So I think what really made me want to write this program is a visit to Vietnam a right. couple of years ago. Um, and uh, just seeing all of the foods there that you could get uh, on the street. Just walking right? down street the street. Food. So we should explain. It, I don't think it is necessary because street food is uh, it, it's found all around the world. So why don't you explain right. to people if you haven't seen this or listened to this program... What do you mean by street food? Right. Because, of course, it's not like food you find on the street, really, right? Right. Um, it, the name is a little bit weird. Um, but it's food that you would find maybe like at a food cart or somebody is walking down the street with food that they're making and then they're selling. Um, or somebody who has like a little, a little stand and you can go visit that stand. And sometimes they even have like little stools that you can eat at. Mm -hmm. Um, here where we are really popular is like a, a truck. So you would have a food truck, which right. has street food. Um, so basically any sort of food that you can walk down the street and buy at a cart or from a person and then eat as you continue walking along or take a little break. Right. There are a lot of, at least where we live in the United States, there's a lot of regulations. So it's yeah. not as common as other places in the world, I think. I, I, from, I haven't traveled maybe as much as you, but I remember when I was in the country of Indonesia, shout out to mm -hmm. all the people listening from Indonesia, um, it felt like there were street food vendors everywhere. Everybody yeah. was selling something, whether it was a, a sweet dessert or meat on a stick. Uh, something there were there was just they were everywhere yeah especially like in a city right yeah. where um you just you can't walk down the street in a city and not see a, a food vendor and I, I it's very similar uh to my experiences in vietnam as well like you walk down the street and you can get any sort of food that you want like a, a big food like for lunch or just a little snack or um yeah all sorts of things yeah. Like that. So, Liz, do you, I mean, this this combines two things, actually. What we're talking about is not just your love of food, but you also love to travel as well. So it's kind of that perfect um, marriage yes. of two interests, right? Yes, that is true. That is one of um, my favorite parts of traveling is, um, well, being able to try new food, right? But street food makes it really easy to try that new food yeah. um, and to feel like you're really immersed in that culture. Um, so going into a restaurant, you know, you've got to find a place to eat. You've got to make sure there's enough spots for, um, you know, the amount of people that you have with you. And you have to make sure it has 
something for everyone you want. Everyone's got to yeah. go there, and it usually takes a long time. But street food, you can walk down the street. Everybody can get something different. They can all eat it together. Um, yeah, and it's a it's a great way to experience a different culture, I think, um, as oh, a way to yeah. do that. Oh, yeah, 100 percent. Um, and there's very little street food that is like a, a chain or a, a big big corporation. Right. You know, it's it's local. Right. It the people who made it. It's usually one, maybe two people who have a small, like they're the person who made it. You're not going to mm -hmm. get a, a McDonald's or a KFC doing street food. I will say though, like sometimes, um, okay, so here's another thing about me and traveling. Uh, I often get sick when I travel. Okay. I don't know why, but like I try to be really careful about the foods that I eat and, uh, and stuff like that. But like real more often than I would like to say, I get sick. And sometimes, sometimes I have to avoid street food because it's not yeah. regulated, right? Yeah. Uh, so. Well, a lot of times when you're going to travel to a new place, you'll read what vaccines do I need? What, what yep. can, should I drink the water? And there will be advice about if you're not from that place, maybe yeah. the street food will affect you negatively. Yes. Yes. It is true. I did. Okay. So I, um, I sent some, uh, pictures to you, Adam, yes, that I yes. wanted to share of street food that I have had around the world. It's not, it's not everywhere that I've been and it's not, yeah. um, it's not anything specific, but I thought it's just like fun to kind of share. So you want me to throw one up and tell you what it, which one, and you can kind of say, yes. explain it. Okay. So the first yes. one we'll put, we'll share is you, it's a picture of you eating something somewhere. You, it... <laughs> yes. Okay. So this is, um, I traveled to, uh, Vienna in oh, Austria okay. last, right before the, right before the pandemic actually. And, uh, they have the greatest, what they call them hot dogs. I think that's just like the English adaptation okay. of the name. Cause it's not what I think of as a hot dog. It doesn't look like a hot dog. At all. No. Well, this one is cut up and it's okay. got, um, so a couple different ways. Sometimes they have a very long bun, like a, a bread, like a baguette, mm -hmm. almost that they like poke a hole into. They actually have a spike that sticks up oh. and they'll take the bun and just put it on the spike and just kind of go like this a little bit to make a nice hole. And then they'll just stuff a hot dog right in there. <laughs> okay. And it's so good. Wow. Uh, sometimes they put like ketchup or mustard or sometimes it has like, uh, like cheese in it or something yeah. like that. This one is cut up into just pieces and you can see I have a little fork yeah. and then on the side it that's has a fork a, you're holding okay that's a tiny yeah, you know little... like a little pokey fork yeah 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 like a little cocktail fork okay um and so and then it has uh sauerkraut on the side which is a fermented cabbage right so uh and then you kind of eat those together and those, I think that's a very uh Austrian street yeah food. yeah it seems like a I don't know if it's the right word. I, I'm, I don't want to speak it out of ignorance. I was going to say Bavarian, like German, Austrian. Yeah, I think it's. I think it would be right? common in in Germany as well. Yeah. yeah, it's very it's very good. All right, let's go to the next uh, photo. We have a photo of some kind of. Let's do this. Is a. Uh, it looks like you're holding some kind of banana pastry, or it's a uh, no. Am I guessing incorrectly? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I should check these too. I don't. I don't know if I said. Well, it's not your. It's a. It's something with some fork sticking into it, with some. Looks like banana to me. A banana. I don't know on a on a bready thing. Oh yeah. Okay. So, but it's got. It's like a like a puffy bread. Yeah. 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 It's got, uh, Nutella and bananas on it. Oh. Now this I don't remember. This is um in Hungary. Uh, this is a, a common street food, and I am blanking on the name for it. I cannot remember it. Put it um, in the comments if you're from Hungary and yes. you know what this is called. Be the first one to name this. Yes, alleged I would love that. common. It is something that um, it, it is very very common, 
And uh, you can have all sorts of toppings on it. So when we went and we chose what we wanted, we were in the mood for something sweet, which is why it has Nutella and banana. I see. Um, so you chose you like, chose what goes on top. Yes, and there were it was it was almost like pizza too, because you could get some with like cheese and meat, and you okay. could get some with like just uh, just like sugar and. All sorts of different, all sorts of different kinds. So oh, that was a very delicious one. This is making me very hungry. I know, right? This is uh, this is why this program starts out with uh, warning: this program may make you hungry because it's definitely gonna. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Well, we've we've got. Let's do one more. We've got yeah. what looks like um, some kind of green. I want to say ice cream, but green yeah. ice cream of some kind. Yes, it is. It is green ice cream. Uh, I think that one was named like Hulk flavor, but you were actually there, Adam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes, 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 you, yes. You and I uh, had this street food together. And of course, ice cream is a very common street food all yeah. around the world. Yeah. Um, and this was in Spain. Spain. So we've got yes. Hungary, Spain, and Vienna. Green. Mm -hmm. I'm... If you, a, if, was, if you know, if, if you're watching this and you think you know what flavor green is, <laughs> put it in the comments because we'll, I think I think you're going to tell us in a minute, but put it in the comments and see if you're right. Because um, I see I see behind in this photo, we've got some maybe coconut, some some strawberry, some other yeah, flavors. Yeah, I think there's a lemon one. But the green... Well, I do remember I I do remember that I bought it and tasted it before the person told me what was in it. Okay, so were it you able to good. guess it? But I couldn't I couldn't guess what it was. I always think are vegetables are green. I'm I don't know. I believe it was kale. Kale? I was yeah. going to guess some kind of green tea maybe flavored. No, it was not. It was not a matcha ice cream. Okay. Uh, well, that exists. Kale, spinach, kale, something, some green yeah, leafy vegetable. Yeah. I would not but get I that. But I couldn't taste it. It didn't taste like kale. Well, you know, you you had it, and that's part of what street food is all about. Is you probably got something boring like strawberry or vanilla. I <laughs> I disagree. Not boring. Flavorful. <laughs> Flavorful. Um, yeah. So okay. I I love meat on a stick. So whenever oh, yeah. I, it's, it's, it's everywhere you can find, you don't really know what animal it came from. Could be a, a cow, could be a chicken, could be a, a pig, but, mm -hmm. um, wherever I travel, I, I look for it. And then if really? I can't find meat on a stick, some kind of fried dough. Mm. So like, uh, a, a, we call them elephant ears. Yeah. You know, so it's just like a big plate In of fried States. dough. And I mean, it's the simple things. They're easy to make. Um, yep. And I those... think that's a very common, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, across cultures, I think that is a, that is a food that is always a street food. Yeah. Everywhere. Or Some or, sort of fried dough. Yeah. Or you combine them into some kind of dumpling or empanada or something where you take the dough and wrap it around the meat and then fry it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Empanadas. I haven't had those in a long time. Yeah, um, I will say, Adam, I wore this shirt as uh, as well, especially for this program. Oh, nice. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I don't know if uh, if if everybody. You can may see have to it. stand up. I don't think yeah, they can okay, see that. Yeah. Okay. So it's uh, Vietnam loves spotlight. Yes. Uh, because this program talks about uh, a common Vietnamese street food called banh mi. Mm -hmm. which I have only had once, which I, I wish that I could have it more, yeah. but um, which is so delicious as well. And so um, did you, did I would we, love to hear. Did you make what? a video about that? Because we have a, we do have a series of videos, a playlist on our yes. YouTube channel. I don't I, think we did a banh mi sandwich. Noodles about um, uh, pho. And I made a video about um, pad thai. An egg coffee you did. And egg coffee, oh, oh! Now you're making me like uh, remember that egg coffee. I had forgotten about it. it. Was so good. Yeah. Um, and then uh, an iced tea, 
Although that was in that was in Thailand, not in in Vietnam. Yeah. And then what? But I'm. Uh, there was one more, one more street food one. Uh, you did there. You, I think you visited a marketplace, but I don't know if you ate a food there. There is one more. I can't remember what it is, but uh, yeah, you should check those check out. out. I'll link them. There's a whole series of videos about Liz traveling throughout Vietnam. And yeah. you know, if you can't travel, sometimes it's you need to. You need to. I should rewatch those videos just because. Um, it's good when you can't travel to watch videos, watch traveling videos. It feels like you, you're there. It makes you want to go there, but it also kind of uh, gets you out of your own little world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, I hope uh, this program is actually another another one that I really loved was, um, I think it talks about elote, which is one of my favorite. Have you ever heard of this street no. food, Adam? No, I have not. Okay. It's so good. Um, so you have like a corn cob, okay. right? Okay. So it's like, um, corn, like the, the corn, corn is, is off. not off the, yeah. How, how would you describe that if somebody doesn't know what a corn cob is? Well, the cob is what the corn grows on. Yeah. Okay. So you have the corn, corn on the cob. You haven't yeah. cut it off yet. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. I'm with you. So, uh, and then you, uh, so you take the, you take the stuff off the corn, right? So that's, that's how you cook it. And then, uh, you, uh, have it on a stick. So you would like it, Adam. Yeah. It's not everything, me. everything on a stick is better. <laughs> and then, uh, I believe you roast it like over fire and then you okay. spread it with like mayonnaise and then some like seasoning, like, uh, cheese or, um, and spices and stuff like that. And it, um, then you put like a lime on top of it. You squeeze oh, a lime on it. Nice. It's so good. So it's like a method of cooking corn with some diff other flavors. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. We, um, we sometimes at my house, we make an elote salad. Like we yeah. don't, we, we don't, I don't know, do you it don't on go the through top, all these but... steps and the cook yeah. it over the fire. But. I'm sure it doesn't taste as good as street food Nothing from does. Mexico. Well, well, that's a good point. Part of the street food experience is an overall experience, right? You're in a new place, you're traveling, you've got the sounds, right. the sights, the smells of everything, and the food tastes different. It just does. Yeah, and, and it's true. It's not just about how it tastes, but it's about the whole experience. Yes. Well, um, anyway, I hope that this program... Uh, doesn't make you too hungry. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we would love to hear about street food in your area. I really would. Um, tell us, like, do you eat street food very often? What's your favorite kind of street food? Is your is your country known for this street food? Um, we didn't say what, what street food our country is really known for. I don't, I don't know if we would. Like, hot dogs, maybe? Yeah. You know, Sadly. the, the, the food trucks that I see near, near us are more like taco trucks. Yeah. A lot of, uh, uh, there's, there's a lot that you, you have to be able to carry it in your hand or eat it, eat it uh, mm -hmm. as you're, as you're walking. Right. But, yeah, but even so, of some of those food trucks are more like for you to sit down. They're like, yeah, I don't know, fancy food trucks. Yeah. That's kind of a thing these days. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Anyway, I don't I don't think that I mean there is street food in the US, but like you said, it's maybe not as common as Well, in a lot of times it's associated with festivals or yeah. carnivals or different different events where people will come and set up to serve right. a large group of people. Right. Yeah. Okay, so I got a little sidetracked. Okay. We want to hear what your street food is. Um and uh if you listen to this program, leave a comment, make sure you subscribe to this channel and that you hit the little bell so that you always get a notification when we post a video, you won't miss anything then. Um, you can listen to the classic program, sometimes an advanced program, and then this program, test yourself all the way through those, uh, those levels and uh, improve your English that way. Uh, again, I've been Liz Wade. This is Adam Navis, and you should follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, All website, the places. All the places. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.